Hi everyone, Dan Moran here from Concierge Diamonds. The saga of natural diamonds versus synthetic or lab-grown diamonds continues. Uh, the Federal Trade Commission has issued a number of guidances about what purveyors of lab-grown diamonds can and can't say. And earlier this year, there was a, a supposed victory for the lab-grown diamond people where the FTC said it's okay to call them diamonds. Uh, but apparently now some of the biggest lab-grown companies have gotten warning letters from the FTC saying, hold on a second, you can call them diamonds, but you must, you must immediately disclose that they are not natural or mined diamonds, but rather are lab-grown, created, synthetic, etc. Apparently this is a rampant problem where the guys making lab-grown diamonds are trying, of course, as they should, I suppose, to make them sound as much like the real deal out of the planet as possible, but the FTC is starting to clamp down on that. All of this is by way of saying, be very careful what you're buying. There will be jewelers out there who will try to blur the line between a natural diamond and a synthetic diamond. And while visually they can be very, very difficult to distinguish one from the other, the value propositions of one versus the other are totally different. Natural mined diamonds have been a repository of value for thousands of years. They are a traded commodity that is supply constrained. So you can expect a natural diamond to continue to retain value for the years and decades to come. Lab-grown diamonds, on the other hand, are not supply constrained. The supply is essentially infinite and they should be treated more as a disposable consumer good. So uh, to use layman's terms, when you buy a natural diamond, you're buying something that's going to continue to hold value. When you're buying a lab-grown diamond, you're buying something that's of no value the minute you walk out of the store with it. And since apparently a number of retailers are deliberately blurring the line between the two and forgetting to disclose the difference, buyer beware. Be careful what you're buying. Be careful that you're getting what you're paying for. By the way, this applies to stones other than diamonds too. There have been retailers trying to pull shenanigans with synthetic rubies, sapphires, pearls, emeralds for many years. That's a known scam. But it's suddenly become possible to do it with diamonds as well. So a category where you didn't have to worry about it before and now you do. Just a public safety announcement uh, from your friends at Concierge Diamonds. Be careful what you're buying. Thanks, guys.